Hello, everybody. This is Prez. It's been a while. Uh, you know, uh, welcome back to the channel. Yep, I'm still alive. I still exist. Um, you know, I've had a few challenging months, to say the very least, um, you know, in real life circumstances. Um, you know, and uh, it seems like the market has also been taking the same hit as uh, myself. Um, but um, I hope you guys are keeping well um, in this econ economic climate. Um, things are tough. Um, I'm hoping you guys are still enjoying yourselves, um, whatever you choose to be doing or collecting these days. Um, welcome to the video. Uh, this is um, if I had a magic one for Kenny.com slash DC. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, you know, I want to expand the channel a bit more. Um, I want to extend the discussion. I love speaking with you guys. Um, so if you wanted to talk to me about any any collecting platform. Um, and of course, uh, one of the things I want to do is I'll also talk to um, crypto and uh, the whole space, actually. So the, these are the experiments I've been having instead of obviously focusing on um, my number one pro passion project of um, back cows and uh, the legacy cow collection over at Kenny.com slash DC. But, um, but yeah, I know that uh, it's been rough, rough for everybody lately. So um i just hope everybody's well and um and yeah um let's deep dive let's get going into the video um obviously before we get started i just wanted to say right um i mean can i love um some of the competitive advantages candy is going to offer right having self-custody for comics um for dc comics is going to be a game changer especially um you know for such a prized asset class for the comics really um and of course our back house and the rest of our collectibles it sets a precedent as to what um you know to me control um and true ownership you know, if you buy something from the store it's not like they could just walk up and just r knock on your door and just take it right same thing applies um and it's well treasured by people that know web3 well and uh have been on the other side you know when accounts get banned and you, lo you lose your control. Um, this eases that um, pressure and adds more confidence. Um, and obviously the ability to obviously go interoperable is the next step on that. Um, but first things first is the beta testing, hopefully uh, gets delivered at the end of Q3. The low edition runs have been great. Um, you know, if they don't sell out, which um, the market, it, you know, doesn't, it doesn't do it these days. Yeah, you know, things get burned out. So long term, if we're going to project more users coming in or just more demand for these things and the passion get reignited, if, if you know, sparks get flown and innovation comes in and companies stop being like, you know, let's stop freezing on, on putting more innovations in, then we can expect that, you know, this is a, um, a great opportunity to get in when the demand is one of the lowest, right? Um, so the great uh the bound books have been great like you know uh the recent crisis uh just being a collector suddenly you wake up one day and then there's a massive chase for people to be able to bind them well now you can expect series runs to you can you know you can read them it makes sense you read them weekly and then you get to bind them later on it's almost um something you would expect obviously not um it's not going to be for everyone but you know, at least it, there's continuity in the platform, and you can you know you can definitely see, you can feel the experience. It's great. It's been great, you know. And obviously, since moving over to like it's been ages ago now, the site has been transparent. Um, you know, with the sales metrics, sales figures, who is selling, who's buying. Those are, you know, great things to have. But of course, um, there are like platforms like Hero that have really great reward mechanisms and um i'd say mcfarlane as well um it's been you know fantastic along the board um and of course vv with leading with its ip right different ip and stuff so there's a lot um i'd say crypto as well um with their gamification there's lots of things that um many platforms do well but you know if you boil down to the actual comics and uh, the ip you know the i think ultimately the i'm, I'm excited about the legacy cow ip um evidently you know um 
there are good things still here. Um, but um, saying that, saying that, um, you know, coming off the two year roadmap. So I just want to put a disclaimer, right? So um, things take time to cook. Um, and, you know, you guys can use any ideas taken here. I've taken some of them from the community, uh, accumulated over time. Um, I would say, of course, you know, there's many moving parts such as creativity. Um, so if you guys are going to post, post publicly. So, and um, and the suggestions box over at kenny.com slash DC, over at my Discord as well. Um, things take time to cook. And there's many factors, including the merger. Like, you know, um, imagine the Palm team now, obviously, with Candy, um, they have competing IP and obviously, like, approvals needing from Warner Brothers. Um, you know, just, you know, speaking to the members of the team we, through my interviews, um, I get to have an insight as to, you know, kind of the game plan and the structure of how things are. Um, and, you know, of course, these are things that I know might take time, like these ideas might take time. So for example, it might take a, a year or two um, to be able to actually seep in, or there's already a program set for the rest of the year that they're going to follow through. But definitely like right now guys is the time to be able to say what you want from the project because it is an evolving project and that's primarily most of the reason why we're here right um it's to see how evolution the evolution of collecting especially the dc ones is, is for me is the primary goal of being here and, and you know experiencing this with you and having a discussion with you guys and enhancing my own experience in a way so without further ado um and in no particular order, I wanted to just throw out my ideas out there. So let's get going. <clears throat> so I believe like, you know, all right. So the legacy cows, we've been, they've been coming in. Um, then there's various protagonists. Um, we've got Nightwing coming up. They've got Catwoman, which is amazing. Um, but we've always had to obviously buy the $25, $50 that turned to 25 shortly. But usually crafts cost around sixty dollars, um, and it's been a few. I've had, I've done four or five already, um, and you know, you've seen it. Like right, the initial mint is minted out because of speculation, but then when the formula is this, like you know, similar, although obviously the cows look amazingly different, and even the components are very collectible. Like the Nora Fries one is my favorite. Um, you know, people maybe have less money expendable lately or interest to go, well, why would they mint one now if they already have legacy cows before, unless they really, really like the design upcoming. Um, you know, we're seeing numbers of 230, 250, like capping was doing these things, right? Um, and that's very like, obviously, um, that's like half of what it was from the initial runs, like the GCDK cow. A lot of it's to do with, I guess, like if I do the craft, do I get anything for the craft? And if I actually do the craft, I'm just bound to lose money because you can pick up the GCD cake out for half of what it was. I, there is a lot to do with that. It's um, people won't just do things just to has has failed burn money, right? But anyway, um, where does the legacy cow need to pivot right now? So for me, um. Now, apart from obviously killing off a main character, making a big statement. Um, and I know these comic books take time to cook as well. It's not like they can just draw things up, like approvals from DC Com, the artist pens it, pencils it, sketches it. Like it takes months, right? But um, but they are building in real time. Um, so when I say kill off a character, just make a big statement about being a villain. But to me, bring back back house. Um, the, the roadmap was here, you know, for two years. And I'm not saying like spend lots of money. A lot of the ideas I have right now really just need sign off from Warner Brothers and probably a couple of 3D artists, uh, which I would imagine Candy already has in house. Um, and sometimes we can even pull resources to bring back Daz to do contracted work. Where if we have, there's enough of us that signs up for it, so I'll explain that a bit later on. But for me, for the story itself, right? Um, to me. The biggest selling, like, you know, legacy cars are 11,544. They could have just aired their, dropped that to us. Yeah. Um, but of course, it's a business as well. Like, there's families at the end of the, uh, the other end that need to generate um, 
see what they can, they can generate right from this market because obviously they're not working for, for us for free it's not a charity right um we pay for our experiences but um if you think about it really legacy cows face off with different types right um you know face faced off with catwoman for example we're gonna they're gonna face off with the gc they've already faced off with the gc ticket but that can't be it because there's an exact number of legacy cows with the back house that's the plan 11,504 legacy cows. Where is the back house? It's been nine months. Um, GCDK is, cannot be the only storyline back house are involved with this year. The more they, that, um, in my opinion, the more the platform veers off from the back house, the more, because um, people don't identify with these legacy cows. At the end of the day, it's a villain. Nobody wants to walk around being a villain, right? Everybody that has a back, sports a back, how it feels like they want to be part of the Batman legacy in some way um, and be the heroes of their own story, right? Um, you know, can we have a focus shift to the heroes and have the community engaged again? And yeah, like bring back the quizzes. Where are they? Right now, the metrics cannot only be, I have to spend some money to be able to participate in the, in the story, right? Where, what are the ways that we can bring back engagement from the back house and you know um itself and revitalize it because at the end of the day and yes like it's been amazing like all the utility has been amazing but if you want to reawaken the user base go back to basics and you know re-pivot back into the back house on the hero side of the story extinguishing the legacy cow or at least um facing some challenges like do you bring burning mechanisms into back house so that that perish in the fight against the legacy cow and then in turn, do you burn legacy cows in that way? I don't know, but something needs to happen. More action needs to happen um, through a story. And uh, I would think, you know, people have the back house to be able to fight them off, right? So um, again, I leave this to the boffins, but definitely we need the war to actually look and feel engaging for, from a first person perspective. Um, so I leave that again to the creatives how you're going to do that but we've got the assets like we've got the cows that we're waiting for something to happen to it we, like you know i could bring back the skull meme right okay um another thing is you know introducing small components for the bat suit in generic format build the wish list to customize them again for when enough bat cows join so this is when i said um that 3d could probably if enough people sign up um bring them to life like you know base them on our back house so what do i mean so let me just bring up um you know batman year one because i think to me um batman like your know, back house year one is um you know it's it's standard right So let me share my screen. What do I mean by something generic, right? So we've seen it. Um, let's skip to the pages that, that has it. I probably should get it framed. I... So yeah, I mean, these components, right? These are whited out. I mean, this is the perfect example for now, right? Um, these are, for example, like components, right? And they're generic, they're white, they don't have... So we can actually, if if these assets make our way, like, uh, I don't know, components for the bat suits, right? Like a cape or, um, you know, it could, be a, it could be a bat suit tailored to the different dominoes or the different types of Batman, right? Um, this is going to sell like hotcakes. Now, it could be drop style. I mean, I'll pay for them. Right. Um, and they could be generic, but they could also be based on the back house I have. And I could stock them up so that and then, you know, for example, like that could be a drop from candy.com slash DC. And then we could even build a wish list for customization. Let's say I wanted something for my um, blue force field. I'll be able to go, OK, I'll be joining a group of people that because obviously it has to be a bulk order for the 3D files to be generated by DAS, for example, or even by Candy, let's say. 
I mean, for me, I would be able to, these could, these could either be a drop style or they could be rewards or something, right? People would absolutely kill to have some 3D assets because ultimately we want to be metaverse ready fully. Um, and I say metaverse, not just AR filters, but like game, right? Uh, metaverse slash and game. So when I say game, like could be a Arkham Asylum in the future, like an online version or because I know games take millions to, to produce. But then again, obviously, the technology is also improving now. You just need the IP to sign up, Warner Brothers to sign off, you know. And if we can actually walk around in those games with this skin, like a backhouse skin for the whole bat suit from Kenny.com slash DC, that is the ultimate dream. But for now, we don't even need that cave. We just need the components. And then we need to be able to tailor them as a two-step, right? So drop style generic from candy and then we maybe the ability to um group together and then pay to customize it through a third party like das 3d or someone someone to be able to um i guess it, it you know it goes down to the licensing agreements and that's always the snag but but the allow allowing us to actually grow our 3d assets through our back house is something i've always wanted and this could be a great reward for whatever you want. Do you want us to read a comic? Do you want us to participate in something? Uh, or do you want it to, do you just want to make money and just, just do a drop style format? These are the 3D assets I would love to get because we've been waiting a while to get stuff for our back house, but nothing, right? Like, so we've moved from a two year, which is amazing, into the legacy cow, which is, you know, um, you only need one legacy cow, right? Um, so, the engagement hasn't been there, but really just reignite Backhouse through introducing these components would be freaking amazing as well. Um, the next one for me would be, um, you know, to introduce the community members to the comics. So, of course, you guys know about the multiverse drop where um, it's freaking amazing. Um, you know, I've gone I've gone nuts in the uh, Superman multiverse, right? Um, the panel so yeah i not only not only featured there but obviously I, i've solidified myself into dc comics it's like a lifelong lifelong dream and it's it's you know one of the reasons why i'm about um still um you know um it's it's just amazing to just be featured like um and just be called out like that um highlight reel honestly, of, you know, my entire life, right? Um, just trying to find it, but. Yeah, absolutely, right? Being able to be part of it, but actually be in the comic books it's it's like something the back out community is gonna be super over the moon with so what do i mean by that so if we look at the latest catwoman legacy cow it's actually been mentioned that the legacy cow has been bought from let's read it This is an amazing comic book as well. And I lo obviously love the shout out for the back house there. And obviously to get the legacy cow in comics as well. But, um, you know, some spoilers is, um, so where did you get it? Um, it goes, I, I put this thing on days ago. It just took over um, and just to cover everything I said, everything I did, where did you get it? An online auction Batman related powerful now. Yeah. I don't even know if it was genuine or not. So it's alluding to candy, right? Like the, the person like buying it, going to candy and be able, being able to be possessed by it. So we can probably say this is the first person in the community to be able to grab a legacy car, but actually it isn't right. Because the likeness, of the community member hasn't been signed off. Um, so this is just a reference, but what a day it would be to actually have your likeness and your back how featured 
uh, in the war against the legacy cow, that would that would really like go go nuts, right? That would be amazing. Um, and of course, when we talk about overdrive, what 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 was the premise of overdrive? Right, it's it's you know it's there's a lot of expectations for overdrive. Obviously, now it's emergent bind and it's a turn your legacy cow into variants, of course, right? But when we talk about overdrive, um, I would literally, if I had a much magic wand, I would introduce like exclusive comics and collectibles for anyone can throw random comics and collectibles to be able to obtain, obtain. So obviously, if it's a core, then it'll be a less chance that and it will just be burned. Um, you know, so it'd be like a slot machine almost into this bad computer. But then if you burn a lower edition, you'd have a higher higher chance for higher rarity or edition, right? Um, and then you can take um, a portion of um, the low editions, um, like randomly, like the first 10, and throw them in here into the bad computer to be able to win. And people will... People will burn for the sake of it. People will, and again, um, and if you think about it, like, why would you want to do that? You just want to drive the prices up. It's not, for me, it's not this. It's being able to interact with the tons of comics and collectibles that I have currently and being able to gamify them. And yeah, you know, if, if it turns out that um, some of the collections that I have would be more interesting um, and I'll be able to look at them and actually reward the collectors because right now the only ones being rewarded are the ones who sell the hype right there's actually zero um you know when collectible values drop like this when their sell-offs happen in like the market really the, the collector is holding the bags right and what can you do like you know you make them play you make them have fun so this is what the things i would do um especially like you know having something random and win being able to win new stuff monthly right and that would be like the chasers to be able to do that um it would be crazy you know and then having updated metrics as to like you know if people have actually burned them off that's gonna that's gonna make things go crazy right um and you know by the way when we get self custody People will be able to burn stuff anyway, obviously for no reward whatsoever, by sending them to a burn wallet. We'll be able to do that with self custody. So it's going to happen anyway. Why not make it happen in a fun way, like true overdrive style, not just like paid overdrive, but people get bored in that, right? Like people, people want to play, but they don't exactly want to pay to play every time. Um, and, and, you know, truly, truly, it's going to have a, in my opinion, a, a good knock-on effect to bring the fun back and, you know, bringing people back in to the platform. Okay. Um, set completion points, right? Um, so if you complete a set, you can get points to participate in exclusive raffles. Again, more stuff to win because you're a collector. You're actually collecting something you're gonna win stuff how about people that collect low editions how about if there's a leaderboard for it um and then have low editions per rarity set aside for the rewards so yeah a low edition leaderboard a set completion leaderboard um per drop right and having like a chaser comic to win if you're part of that like you know part of the top 20 or the top 200 right and then you get to you get to be able to um win so it's like rewarding collecting collecting really and and you know you can argue that people that collect low editions have money anyway but it's that's fine that that just means that there'll be more incentives to do that and actually make sense and it solidifies it's almost like a standard anyway for vv and hero right um and even in candy right that mints matter and it does but how about bring some fun back into it So for the badges, uh, we're getting lots of badges for, for mergers and binds uh, recently, right? So you guys know 
Um, we've had some great badges, obviously. Um, I've had them as well. Now, right now, of course, they're like on the flex factor at the moment, but I would say just, just drop a grail. Well, obviously not too soon, but like I would say being able to, if you have a lot of these badges plus your back owl, you'll be able to get discounts or allow this for DC27 and AC1. That makes sense to me because you've been part of the journey, even though it's been rough, right? So, yeah, um, honestly, I would, um, yeah, I would use these, I would expect these badges to have some sort of impact, um, you know, in getting those sought after drops. So back house multiplier um, for the raffles would be great as well for, I wasn't thinking about this. It's like um, a multiplier for how many back outs you have. That's how many votes you're going to count, uh, how many legacy calls you're going to have. That's how many votes you're going to have for the raffle. So do the same for back house um, and make it back house exclusively so that everybody should be able to have one and um, have an extra chance. And people that don't have a back out, you know, you know, they've got one chance. And then I guess, you, you know, you could say over five, you can get two over 10, you can get three, whatever, um, whatever, whatever could be de deemed fair. Um, make the back house great. You know, uh, again, um, I can't believe I said that, but um, yeah, otherwise, um, yeah, make it make back house really center and core. And I think platform will do better um just because right now it's just it's just been um it's been left behind really in terms of usage uh, obviously there is to me still the historic value um and just the collectability is insane for the back house anyway but um but yeah people have been flooring them just because they don't see a ben like a direct benefit right now in having them Another one has been suggested by not 30% exactly, but by a community member is, you know, having access, getting cows access to 30%, the low edition shuffle from hundred and below. So if you make that exclusive to the early access and then they get 30% randomly of hundred and below, that is going to be insane, right? To, and you know, you know, you can mark the packs, uh, special back owl packs as well, because um, you want to incentivize having a back hall on the account uh, and early access specifically. So maybe a different pack. Obviously, the pack mechanics could do with a bit of work as well, but I know that takes time to build. I mean, I'm talking about like the opening like, you know, animation, but the content of a back hall early access will be great to have, um, you know, further boosts. Um, that would, again, solidify the back hall in this current situation that we have. Let people create, right? Um, could back house be open licensed, right? And these are the 3D components I was talking about earlier, the mini ones, like to make a bat suit, to make a bat mo our Batmobile, make our gadgets, everything. Like actually the opportunity for 3D assets related to back house are endless, really. If you think about Kyle, uh, um, Green Lantern and the amount of things he's created with his Green Lantern ring. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, this is the thing that we need for the back house, right? We need to be able to have like, go crazy on customizability and you can make them generic. And like I said, you can pull people, enough people together to, like, to be able to make custom requests, right? And to unique 3D stuff that we'll be able to buy and sell later, right? In, in anticipation of a future game or metaverse. But it doesn't even need that. It just needs maybe, for example, right? Um, work with McFarlane right with the with the back cave that they have integrate cows and related assets to be hosted there or create your own like or candy create your own right um to be able to store all our stuff um related to our cows again this is just a wish list magic wand what i would do to keep things really interesting guys uh that's it for me i mean let me know what ken needs to do now comment uh, like and subscribe, obviously, but join the Signal Discord, linktree.com, uh, present masks, so we'll be able to join the discussion. So we ask the community members there um, 
you know, upcoming ideas for future videos. But um, I think, you know, it's the worst thing that we could do right now is do nothing and just say, oh, things are on the down. But if you don't give feedback, then obviously you, how can the platform improve, right? And it's not just the platform, but the experience of digital collecting in DC itself. Um, so no, thank you so much for, for listening. Um, hope you enjoy the ideas. Let me know what you think. Uh, definitely engage with me. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, like I said, um, I'm back and, um, yeah, easing in in real life, uh, with, uh, my new job and, um, everything else. So, but I'm here and, uh, let's, let's, let's keep the discussion going. Thanks so much. Speak soon.